guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers for Cancer. And for those of you who have never been here before, I'm so happy you landed here. Do come in the comments and say hi. Um, hey, we're in Cancer season today. And right after the sun changes signs, we are in the energy of the summer solstice in the Northern Hemisphere longest amount of daylight and the shortest amount of daylight in the southern hemisphere so a big day and then tomorrow on the 21st we have the full moon in capricorn i know it's a lot so i'm well 21st 22nd depending on where you, what your time zone is i'm gonna pull from guides of the hidden realms this is a brand new deck by colette baron reed uh, grew out of, uh, she took a painting class and messages started coming through, creatures started coming through that she discovered over time to be these guides of the hidden realms. She has these messages that she has channeled. And so I'm going to pull a card for those of you watching. And I'm going to read right out of the guidebook. Oh, beautiful. Cancer. This is... Card five, the sovereignty of magic, synchronicities, miracles, spiritual forces. Lovely. I love the headdress. The painting, she said, um, all have gold leaf. And she um, used what she refers to as holy water that she got from Italy. So she has painted in a lot of beautiful energy that does speak to sovereignty and magic so here is what the card says an invisible power operates in every aspect of our lives the truth is woven through the cosmos magic is the metaphysical realm always sovereign to the material when we remember our inherent connection to the divine and engage our intuition and our par partnership with the universe, we awaken to the messages and miracles around us. Symbols and synchronicities serve as a reminder that the universe is always listening and engaging us. This is your sign, the answer you have been waiting for. The invisible world is creating necessary shifts so the outer world will reflect the intentions you've set in motion. Pay attention to those feelings of inexplicable connection and uncanny knowing. The music of destiny is calling your name and surprising opportunities are aligning for your highest good. No matter the challenges, step forward. Trust that your abundance is assured and prepare to be amazed. It's your season, Cancer. Magic is all around you. I love that message. And if you are here as a cross watcher, blessings to you as well. So what I'm going to do is pull the spread. It's a split soulmate spread. It certainly can come through reversed. So whichever side speaks most to you, claim that. Uh, I'm going to give you my general impressions. Then we'll get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Hmm. We're focused on the details of something, maybe... The need to um, come up with creative solutions to a problem. Wow. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, good. Okay. So the overall theme of the reading here with the Eight of Pentacles is this is a work in progress. We have highs and lows and ups and downs. Your person is stepping into the reading Ace of Cups. Their, their energy is all on, right, the miracle of this connection. That you might be the love of their life, or at least they think you're the one. Um, their block or challenge has to do with sort of how to um, access you. I mean, it just feels to me that you're, you're coming, this is your energy. It feels like it's, you're, you're coming through as um, you're magical, you're mystical, you're maybe even very dynamic, uh, very self-assured, and therefore there's a struggle here for this person to sort of find their way maybe through to your softer side. Um, in the future here for this person, their opportunity is the tower. 
The tower as an opportunity in the opportunity position is about an awakening, is about a big shift, which is what this card speaks to, right? Like what's it gonna take to shake someone up and get them to open their eyes and go like, oh, I see it now. So I don't see the tower as a bad thing. I see it as an opportunity to either fix a past tower moment or to, you know, get that sort of eye-opening awakening, the shock and awe of it all to help them move past any block or challenge here. You're coming in with a different energy, five of swords. You're feeling the unfairness of a situation here. Something feels like maybe you don't feel safe or um, like the deck is stacked against you somehow. There seems to be something that feels like an unfair fight on some level. And your struggle, your block or challenge here is on understanding that, you know, there's a bigger plan and things are unfolding in your favor, right? This is the divine timing card. It's the fate and destiny card. And you're destined for something magical here, but you kind of can't see it or get your arms around it right now for some reason. Your opportunity in the near future is to find that sense of balance, restore a sense of like a level playing field where you don't feel that um, something is working against you. Again, feel free to flip the energies around if you need. Here we go, Eight of Pentacles. High Priestess. Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. Um, how do we work through that which isn't being talked about? There's a need for reconciliation or a, a sort of like coming through a difficult situation triumphantly, victoriously. Um, there's a need to make peace. And the focus here, so interestingly enough, is this Ace of Cups. It's playing out behind the scenes. This does feel like a powerful connection, um, but something has sort of either slipped through the cracks or feels like it's not on terra firma. There may be some energies of um, unsustainability or instability here that you're not speaking about, that you're not talking about, that's going unspoken, but that needs the attention, that needs your, um, you know, devoted time, effort, attention, energy, right? Needs both of you to focus on it. Ace of Cups for your person. Temperance, Two of Wands, Page of Cups. There's an awareness of the need to sort of determine what they want, right? The Two of Wands asks us, what do you want? In a world of possibilities, right? What do I want? What path is likely to get me there? What do I need to set in motion so that it arrives? There is an awareness, but it feels like this person is trying to kind of go with the flow. They're not taking too much action. They're in decision-making mode. The page of cups underneath suggests that there's a, a lot of sincerity here um, any message that this person is thinking of delivering is coming straight from their heart, but I don't think it's been spoken to yet or spoken into existence is what I mean. Right, they haven't voiced it. Okay, Queen of Wands in their blocker challenge. <clears throat> This person has you on a pedestal and they are uh, their blocker challenge and it feels, doesn't feel like a block. It feels like a challenge. There's some need for certainty here. Um, there's an ego structure and maybe a battle of, of the wills between the two of you. They see you as very independent and autonomous and perfectly self-sufficient. Like I know that person does not need me uh, but their curiosity is like that, 
do they want me, right? Almost as if um, they have you, they're, hold, they're, they're holding you in a place of reverence, but at the same time, it, it feels a little diminishing to them. So they've got some need for certainty as to how you would receive them, how you desire them, if you desire them at all. Um, so that's sort of their challenge at the moment. The tower is their opportunity going forward. Five of swords again, three of cups. Four of Cups. I think the message here is their opportunity is to recognize their own potential self-sabotage, right? If they don't make this effort to reconcile, if they don't speak to how they really feel or see you or desire you, they could miss an opportunity. So the tower is coming through as a wake-up call, like a, you know, come on, see what's happening here. Um, you're setting yourself up for a fall when all you have to do is focus on repairing what has sort of gone sideways. You both have this five of swords. The five of swords can feel like an unfair fight. It can feel um, like sab sabotage, self or otherwise. It can feel like... Um, Gaslighty, you know, blowing smoke. And it can certainly come in as feeling defeated, right? Perceiving that you've been cut down, you're defeated. So I do think that this person is going to be given an opportunity, like an awakening. If you don't take the action to reconcile this, you're going to lose an opportunity. So let's see the Five of Swords for you in your present energy. Three of Wands. There it is. Um, so you're, you're kind of open to receiving a positive message, um, anticipating the opportunity to work through whatever this Five of Swords is about. It's going to be different for each of you. Oh my gosh, right? We've got a general reading here, not a private reading. So this Five of Swords, as I went through the litany of the interpretations, an unfair fight, something imbalanced, cutting someone down to size, a zero-sum game, games, game playing, um, gaslighting, right? Sabotage, outside sources of sabotage, even self-sabotage. Something has happened here. We're not speaking about it, but we're, you're coming in open to and calling in and manifesting the opportunity to fix it, to work through something that has happened here that is like the elephant in the room that neither of you are talking about. You're open um, and po to positive messages, optimistic. Um, if this person reached out, you'd answer. And as a result of all of this, that Wheel of Fortune in your blocker challenge, yeah, oh, you might be afraid to take a chance here. Oh, okay. So let me take a step back here to this person's blocker challenge since we have the queen of wands i have a feeling that i'm speaking to those of you who are dealing with someone who is involved elsewhere with a karmic partner and that would mean that you are not the queen of wands that the queen of wands is the is the karmic partner to your person to the emperor to the divine masculine you come through as the nine of pentacles and our emperor here, still it's about their need for some certainty, um, right? They're, they've, they're kind of in this weird stuck place where they're not sure uh, that you're like, they're, you know, do you see what I'm saying? Like, okay, so I'm really struggling here because the message doesn't come out till this part for what I already read about. But 
If, the, if, if you're the one true love, if you're supposed to be the love of their lifetime, they want some certainty around that. That's the holdup. Because they're dealing with somebody who's got a real grip on them right now. I don't see the devil energy, but I sure as hell am feeling it. And so for you, the struggle for you, the blocker challenge is, you know, do I take a chance with this person? Are we meant to be together? Because you have fears that there's something else lurking. That's where the unfair fight is. That's where there might even be some external sabotage coming from that queen of wands if that speaks to you fine but you're wanting to work through it and you're trying to stay open to positive messages coming from your person and your but again i am seeing i am seeing a third party scenario pretty clearly here right and that's why the opportunity for this person is yeah, get a clue. You're you're about to lose it all. So, right? You can't you can't have the third party thing. You got to kind of make your choice. Um wow. Make your choice. Yeah, I'm glad that that kind of came out when it did because I was getting through the saying, well, what's the reconciliation about? I don't really see what this Five of Swords is about. And so when I see you having some internal, right, maybe some fears, some worries, concerns um, with regard to that Queen of Wands energy, then I was like, oh, this is third party. That queen of wands is a, is a karmic partner. Justice. Queen of pentacles. Seven of wands. Queen of swords. It's, um... It's about, I'm seeing you as the queen of pentacles. Uh, it's about not accepting any substitutions, right? The way you, you receive some form of balance or where things feel fair to you is to kind of, you know, stick to your guns, stand your ground, um, taking a stand. No, I'm solid and settled. Uh, I, I know that I... I'm ready for something more, settled, committed. Queen of Swords underneath feels like it harkens back to their Page of Swords. Uh, coming through is like, I just want to know the truth, right? Is there something here for the future for us? If not, that's fine. I just, I just want to know the truth. So the Queen of Swords not coming in with any menacing energy, because she can be menacing, uh, in her reversed energy, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling that seven of wands is attached to the queen of pentacles saying, no, I'm standing firm. I know who I am, what I want, what I'm available for something more committed. And that's kind of where you're going to find your balance. That's where you're going to reclaim some measure of fairness is by taking a stand for yourself, not coming off of that. But yeah, being curious, being open to getting some questions answered, um, right? No hidden agenda. You're going to leave it all out on the field, so to speak. That is your opportunity going forward. So it sort of leaves a little bit of a question, doesn't it? And I do want to look at this person. So I'm going to call them the emperor, but it feels to me like this is someone who is in the midst of trying to sort of extricate themselves from some kind of karmic partner or an ex of some sort, um, someone who's definitely causing a lot of upheaval and chaos. You're definitely trying to be um, staying in the magic, right? The, um, the miracles, aligning yourself with the um, reality that this you know, may or may not be. Um, this is something that you've got some fears or insecurities around and you're not sure if it's a timing issue or if it's just 
not meant to be. So I want to look at this emperor in the extended. There are links below that will take you to that extended where I'm going to kind of see where they're coming from, what they're dealing with behind the scenes, how they're, you know, their thoughts about you, their intentions toward you. That's what we're going to go for. Before I give you the astrology that showed up here, if the readings speak to you, if you find them helpful, if you've been enjoying them for whether a day or a year or five years, please subscribe below. Help me get that algorithm to put my readings up, my videos in front of other people just like you. That's how I stay here on the platform. If I don't have that support, I cannot stay. And I'm saying that for a reason. Things are getting very dicey now. The algorithm is um, tilted and this has been shared with all of us creators to new channels. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Newbies deserve a chance too. And if the new algorithms are focused on promoting new channels, that means those of us old timers here, right? We got to kind of do double duty to get in front of new viewers. So help a girl out. That is my ask. Here we go. High Priestess is um, Pisces energy. We have Temperance is Sagittarius. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This Queen of Wands that's out twice is Aries. More Aries in the Emperor Virgo in our Nine of Pentacles. Page of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Tower is Mars. Mars rules Aries. We have... Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules um, Sagittarius. The Fool is the planet Uranus, which rules um, Aquarius. The Moon is Pisces, Libra in our Justice card. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, and our Queen of Swords is more Libra. So that's what I have. I'm headed to the extended. Let's see what our emperor is up to. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.